Hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how to create this brush stroke animation inside Hitfilm Express so uh, let's get started open up Hitfilm Express so as you can see I've already loaded these images that I'll be using for this tutorial so here's the image of the model that I'll be using I got this one from Pixabay and these brush stroke images that I just exported uh, using GIMP so GIMP is another free software that you can use uh, so I basically loaded these Photoshop brushes inside GIMP and then exported these as PNGs um, and then loaded up them inside FM Express alright so let's just create a new composite chart I'm gonna rename this to main uh, 10 seconds should be good enough 90, 20, 10, 80, 30 FPS click on OK then we'll just bring in our brush 1 PNG image and uh, uh, we'll just first of all uh, just for the sake of visibility I'll just go to options and uncheck the checkerboard background I'll then go to options and change the background color let's see what what's going on with our animation so we're gonna create a rectangular mask so just make sure your layer is selected and just create a mask like this and I will just animate it so let's go inside mask transform create a position keyframe I'll just move this mask all the way to the left until it completely disappears then I'll just move forward to like uh, let's do one second or maybe just do two seconds and just I'll just bring the position back to zero so we have the simple linear wipe transition or animation then we'll just select these two keyframes um, using the selection tool. I'll just, oops, okay. Uh, I'll just select these two keyframes, convert the keyframes to manual Bezier, going to value graph, and just create a smoother animation at the end. So I'll just just I'll just drag this handle to the left. Um, so let's just uh, go to the transform and scale it down, and just move it up a little. So somewhere out there and just to the left bit just like that I'm gonna copy the mask let's bring in the second layer or the second image of the brush Control V to paste the mask on it um, and by the way uh, before we do anything else let's just um, let's just delete this mask let's go to brush one mask um, let's go to shape and just increase the feather strength so we're gonna increase that to around 100 okay so now we can copy this mask and paste it on our second brush image and we'll go to transform scale it down and just change its position let's bring in third image control V to paste the mask and just go to transform and scale it down now we can even rotate this Okay, let's bring in our fourth brush image. Control V to paste the mask on it. And let's just scale this down and change its position as well. Okay, so uh, if we play this, we have something like that. But as you can see, all these masks are animating at the same time. So we're gonna search for position. Just type in position in the search field. And I'll just I'll create a gap of 10 or 15 frames between these keyframes so let's just move to 10 frames you can see the time right here uh, I can just select the keyframes of the second layer and just make sure the animation starts at the 10th frame let's move to 20th frame just move the keyframes forward let's move to 30th frame and just move the keyframes forward just like that so now it's gonna be something like that okay so uh i'm satisfied with that i'm gonna select all these layers right click and click on make composite chart and rename this to brush stroke strokes and click on ok let's go back to main and uh, let's bring in our image so let's just drag it in put it on top of your brush stroke and now what we have to do is we just hide the brush stroke layer and the effects we will search for the set matte effect and apply it on the image 
set the source layer to brush strokes set the blend to subtract and we'll also click on the invert option so that now our image will only be visible inside the brush stroke animation so do bear that in mind this is not our background color our background is still transparent okay so if we play this you can see this is what we have created so far okay now let's create our background so i'm gonna drag in the same image or oh, by the way before we do anything further let's just create a simple transform uh, or a scale animation so let's create a keyframe right at the beginning going to increase the value to 110 let's move to the end and set this back to 100 so this will be a simple zoom out effect okay so now we can just drag in our image the same image that we used earlier um, and by the way you can also right click on this image and click on make composite shot okay so let's just rename this to image comp click on ok so let's just go back to our main and now we do the same thing with our image layer as well so create a composite shot of this so i'll just say bg comp click on ok so we have this image right here and we can just close this brush stroke and image comp we don't want that to be visible and on the bg comp we have this image we can like apply any kind of effect on this if you want to blur blur it out you can apply the simple blur effect on it but i just want to turn it into a colored image so i'll just search for tent effect under stylize and apply it on this layer i'm gonna increase the amount to 100 and as you can see it's turned black and white i'll just change the white map white to something else so let's just use this color right here uh, it's just true strong so i can just turn down the amount um, let's just use a different color maybe like a blue that looks that looks good okay so now if we go back to main we have this background and we have this image comp also on the background we'll just create a simple scale animation and also a rotation animation as well so again set this to maybe let's do 1 1 or 120 and rotate this a bit maybe by 8 degrees let's move to the end set this back to 100 and rotation to 0 so now if we play this this is what we have created so far and we can also add some text so let's create a new text layer Select the text tool and just type in anything that you want to type in. Select all the text, go to the text tab and change the font to, let's use Futura. And I'm going to increase the size of the font. Let's just keep this to bold and uh, I'll just increase the size of this text right here the animation text just like that and Control a to select all the text and decrease the line height or the line spacing uh, we can color this text individually as well so if i just select the topmost text we can change its color just like that okay and we can just position it anywhere that we want so let's just keep it somewhere over here uh, we can also apply the set mat effect on this so if i search for set mat apply it on this layer and set the source layer to the brush strokes set the blend to subtract we can invert this as well so it's gonna do this uh, something similar effect it's gonna apply some similar effect on this as well as you can see it's not quite visible we can change the position of the text okay so uh, we can also create a simple keyframe scale add scale keyframes on this let's increase this size of for this and there we have it if you play this this is what we have created so far 
Alright, so uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you did enjoy this video, if you learned something new, please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I've been having dreams Jumping on a trampoline Flipping in the air I never land, just float with it